at the fall fair and we're your name is Julie Julie and Julie's going to explain about the chicken tractor and the fundraiser for the abattoir and so what's going on okay well um, a group uh, a group on Salt Spring has decided to uh, spearhead a project um, that will allow farmers to have their animals processed in a humane way here on Salt Spring uh, about five years ago, uh, government regulations uh, disallowed farmers from selling their meat at the farm gate, so they had to then take all their animals off island, which not only was very um, stressful for the animals, but it also incurred ferry costs and fuel costs. It's a huge job. It's I do it like five times a year, and it's yeah. three trips. Yeah. I gotta go over in the morning. And you have to leave them and go back the trailer, again a second go time. Go back and get the cages, then go back and get the So so basically it's stressful for the animals very and stressful. it's also going to increase the cost oh, for the it consumer. Does, dramatically. <clears throat> so a group of livestock producers got together and decided that they would try and get organized a mobile abattoir for here right on Salt Spring. Um, we are at the stages now where we're ready to uh, purchase equipment and we hope to be up and running in the spring of 2012. Uh, we have a site, we have all the um, paperwork all in order um, and uh, we're really excited about being able to have a place for farmers to um, have their animals processed. We'll be doing all the animals, uh, cows, sheep, pigs, chickens, poultry, right. kind of thing. So this chicken tractor was built by a fellow named Michael Hogan. And he did an excellent, he really did an good excellent quality job. job. Um, this is it's all here. cedar. Yeah, it's, it's all cedar, and it can hold about four or five regular-sized hens, or about six to eight bantams. Right. And uh, we like to call it the poultry palace. The poultry palace. Yeah. So, so. there's a little area for uh, supplies. Right. Uh, the top part it comes in two parts. The okay. Top, top part sits on the on the run part. Okay. And uh, so the run part down below has a little ramp that goes up at night. Okay, so the hens get up, up, up at top. Night. Yeah. And it, oops, sorry. It's Come. got little uh, things that hold it up. Yeah, okay. And it's got wheels so around the nice this thing is side. you just drag it around the yard and that's, they always get fresh that's right. grass and, and bugs And you get to eat. your lawn fertilized. You get your lawn fertilized and uh, no... Uh, two-stroke motor running your lawnmower, just the chickens eating That's the grass right. and it's a win -win scratching situation. for bugs. Yeah, yeah it's a, so there's some wheels over here that allow you to uh, drag it around to a fresh patch of grass. It's got to be the nicest chicken tractor I've ever seen. Yeah, it's beautiful, <laughs> isn't it? So it's a part of the fundraising effort, though. It is, yeah. So there's a raffle here and you can win the chicken raffle. That's uh, right, $10 a, a ticket and this poultry palace could be yours. The poultry palace could be yours. <laughs> But if you don't want to donate, you can make a donation you to the... You certainly can make. We have a piggy bank right here for right. anyone who would like to support it and believes in the cause. Right. We're always happy to take a donation. There you go. Well, okay. thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye.